Hi everyone. Now we will talk about Laravel one to one relationship. But before that, we will understand what is relationship in Laravel and how many types of relationship we have in Laravel. Then we will talk about one to one relationship. We will see example and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. This is a playlist for Laravel eleven tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So before understanding relationship in Laravel, let's understand relationship in the database tables. So for example, we are working on uh, an e-commerce application, and there we have two tables. First one is sellers. There we are storing the data for sellers. Right? We have two sellers right now, Anil and Sam. And second table is products. There we are storing the data for products. Uh, for now we have three products. first one is iphone second one is samsung m30 and third one is oppo for example okay so now how we can get to know which seller selling which products there right we can get to know right because uh, uh, these are the completely different table but there is a one uh, field which is seller id there so that can help us to understand uh, which product is sell by the which seller so here you can say that we have the seller id 1 so seller id 1 belongs to the anil that means anil is selling the uh, uh iphone as well as oppo and uh, the id 2 which belongs to the sam right so we can say that sam is basically selling the samsung m30 mobile there all right so seller id is basically providing the relationship between these two tables and when we are storing the related data in two different tables that time we can say that these are the related tables and there we can apply the relationship and we want to whenever we want to use the these data from both of these two tables we basically apply the relationship and we are getting this data right so this is basically the relationship you can say that uh, like whenever we uh, want to work with the uh, more than one tables and these tables are storing the related data right and if we are talking about the uh, uh, relationship bit uh, in the laravel so we basically uh, say that eloquent relationship in laravel and this is a powerful feature in laravel that allow developer to work with the related data or you can say that eloquent relationship is a powerful feature that get the data from more than one table with the any related field right so here you can we can see that we have related field seller id so we can get the data from these two tables simultaneously uh, uh with the help of eloquent relationship all right so this is basically the relationship but there is a further categories of the relationships or you can say that the type of the relationship so in laravel we have the four types of relationship first one is basically one to one that we will understand in this part and after that there are three more types uh second one is one to many then many to one and then many to many that will complete in the upcoming parts so what is one to one uh, relationship see when one row of a table is only related to the one row of the other table that time we can say that this is a one to one relationship so for example uh, whenever we are fetching the data so there is a one row with the id 1 right or you can say that the, there is a one user uh, one seller the name of anil so if this belongs to the only one product that time we can say that this is the one to one relationship okay so but now here you can see that the anil basically belongs to the two products first one is apple second one is the oppo so what actually happen in this case whenever we will apply the one to one relationship only one product or you can say that one row from this table and only one row from this table will be fetched all right so in case of one to many one row from this table and multiple rows from this table can be fetched and in case of many to one relationship multiple rows from this table and only one row from this table can be fetched and in case of uh, many to many relationship multiple table from this table and multiple rows from this table can be fetched all right so we'll not talk about the other relationship otherwise we'll get confused so right now if we are talking about one to one relationship simply means one row of seller table will only related with the one row of products okay 
So now let's see how we can implement and how we can get the data from these two tables. So for that, first I have to make one controller. So let me make one controller, PHP artisan, make controller and controller name, let's say sailor controller. And S can be capital there. After that, let me make two model also, PHP artisan, make model and model name can be let's say product as well as seller all right okay so let me start this php artisan server again and now i will uh, go to the controller first and then creating one function there you can put any name to this function i would like to put their list only and inside this for a moment to check the route and all i'm just printing the list all right now go to the web.php and use this controller use controller and sailor controller right and there what we'll do we'll put uh, route then get and route name will be let's say list only and after that sailor list like this all right so now let's check this route is it working fine or not list route this is perfectly working fine okay so the next thing is we want to fetch the data first first we'll fetch the data from sailor table then we will fetch the data from the both table relatively okay so there i will import the sailor model like this and then we will we will basically put there sailor colon colon all like this we can refresh it and here we can see that we are getting the data for both uh, uh, rows right okay so next what we can do so let's say i just want to get the data for id one like this so there you can see that we get the data for anil but now i want to get the data from this table only so which is related to the uh, id one so how we can do that first we have to go to the sailor model and here we have to create one function you can create any name to this function whatever you want so i would like to put their product data or something and there we will return dollar this has one and there we will provide the uh, model path so our model path will be let's say app then models then products yeah right so if i just put their semicolon and now if i if i will use this uh product data then you will find that the data will come from achha, this will be only the product not products so data will be come from this table only the iphone username and everything will be come there so let me show you how it will come so just simply use their this property now you should not use like function it should be like a property only and if i just refresh it you can see that now we have the product name as well as seller id also right but the question maybe you can ask there like how this function get to know like we have to fetch the data according to the seller id this is the biggest question when i was learning that one to one relationship uh, this question get in my mind so what actually uh, happened in laravel laravel automatically understand uh, the model name and it will put model name underscore id and apply to the this table so if this table is found uh, this field is found then it will uh, return the data accordingly otherwise it will throw the error let me show you so if we will just change this seller id uh, to the owner id let's see owner id then you will find that this data is not there this is not working reason being because by default it will try to find seller and that uh, model name underscore id 
but which is not present so what we can do in that case in the second parameter we can put their owner id and now lara will understand like it have to match uh, or it have to relate the data according to the owner id and if you'll refresh it it will perfectly working fine all right all right so now uh, one more thing which i mentioned like uh, in one to one relationship the only one data or one row of the first table and one row of the second table will be uh, displayed there so that you can see that right so otherwise if um, otherwise there should be the two uh, rows so if i just put there iphone 3 id 3 then you will find that now uh, it will show the oppo mobile there because this is the owner id with the one here you can see that now we have the oppo id right so in in the one to one relationship only one row of the both table will be displayed so if you still have any question query you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys